Welcome to another video of May the Codes Be With You. Today we are doing the majority element problem and we will solve it with three different methods and we will also use the Moore voting algorithm. So the question says is we have to find the majority element in an array which has frequency over n by 2. This 2 could be any number if you use Moore voting algorithm but, but for this question we will use n by 2. So here is an input 323. Three. So the frequency of this num these numbers should be greater than 2 as n 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 or rounded off to 2. So it should be greater than or equal to 2. So as you can see for this we will get 3 as our output and for this let's count the total number of elements is 4, 3, 7 so 7 by 2 is 3.5 so we need at least 4 so here are 4 2's so the output is 2 for this input we have 1 we have 6 elements and n by 2 is 3 So as you can see, three one three one three two. The three is the highest occurring element, but it is not greater than three. As n by two is three, it is not greater than three. So the output will not be two; it will be minus one. Similarly, for this one, we have eight elements, and n by 2 equal to 4 so we should have at least 5 element and as you can see 5 here is occurring more than 4 times so 5 is our majority element we can have multiple majority elements but we have to return only one of them so let's see how to do solve this question so here are our three methods brute force approach hash map and moore's voting algorithm so let's use the brute force approach we will use two nested loops in the brute force approach so the first loop will visit every element one by one and check if that and check the frequency of that element this is not the optimized method and the complexity will be o n square so let's do a short dry run so if we are at 2 frequency our count will be 1 then we will run a loop to check here 1 occurs so 2 occurs so frequency will be 2 frequency will be 3 frequency will be 4 ok so we are getting 4 in our first was a first run but it will not be applicable to other solutions so we should look at more optimized methods so let's look at the hash map solution so let's do the hash map approach we are given this input so we will take a hash map which will have two values int and int so first will be a key the second one will be a frequency so let's do a basic run through so at this element we are encounter our encounter our element as 2 so we'll input key as 2 as it is not pre previously present in our hash map and our frequency will be 1 now let's move to the next element this is 2 it is already present we so we'll just increase the frequency so our next new frequency will become 2 so similarly now we will go to 1 and one is not present so we'll add it to the map and frequency will be one so here frequency will be two here frequency will be three and now we'll go to this one here frequency will become three as it is not greater than n by two still not greater than n by two we'll move to the last element here the frequency now becomes 4 so here the frequency is greater than n by 2 so 
we'll just simply return to so here is the basic code you can pause and see the code if you have any doubts drop a comment and ask me so the previous two approaches were taking extra time and also extra space now we will do an approach will not take which will not take any extra time that is it will be done in on and will not take any extra space so this is called more voting algorithm and this is the approach that people at google wants in your interviews and in your coding rounds so let's see the steps the step 1 is we will return the buffer boundary conditions that is when null array array is passed and array with length 1 is passed so this is simple so next we will take two integers called me or our majority element and count don't worry i will take more examples in the next slide so that you guys understand better so the next two steps are the our main steps we will first calculate our majority element then we'll verify it so on in step 3 we will run a loop through the array and check if current element is equal to me we'll increase the count by 1 if else count equal to equal to 0 me equal to current element count equal to 1 or else count minus minus so let's do a run through first our me is equal to the first element which is 1 and our count is 0 and now we are at this element if the current element is equal to me as one is equal to me so we'll increase the count by 1 now we will go to the next el element which is 3 so this is not equal to me we'll go to step 2 if count equal to equal to 0 this is also not true so we'll go to our third condition which is we'll decrease the count by 1 so it becomes 0 again so now we are here so this condition is not satisfied this is not satisfied but this is satisfied sorry so we will do me as our as our current element so current element becomes 5 and count becomes 1 so next we will do next we will go to 3 it is not equal to me count is also not zero so we will decrease the count by 1 it becomes zero now we will go to this becomes now we will go to 3 now this condition is not satisfied as it is not equal to me now the count is zero this condition is satisfied and then we will make our me as our current element which is 3 and we'll change the count as 1 so we have our majority element candidate which is 3 now we will go to next step we don't need count anymore we'll initialize it again to 0 the count becomes 0 now we'll traverse the array again with a loop and count the number of elements which is equal to me so me appears 3 times and our n by 2 is 2.5 so 3 is a majority element and we'll return it as 3 if it was not a majority a majority element in this step verification step we'll return minus 1 so let's see some more examples so you understand better so let's see few more examples in this example we are given 5534 as our array so first we will initialize majority element at as the first element which is 5 and count as 0 now we'll run through the loop here we are at 5 first element which is equal to majority element we will increase the count as 1 now we will go to next element which is 5 equal to majority element so majority element will remain 5 and the count but will become 2 now similarly for this one majority element will remain 5 the count will become 3 
now it does this is not equal to majority element and the count is also not zero we'll decrease the count count becomes two now similarly for this not equal to majority element count becomes one but still our majority element remains five now we will check for five as n by 2 equal to 2.5 and 5 equal to 3 so our majority element that will be returned will be 5 so let's see another example here we'll initialize our count as 0 majority element as the first element so which will be 2 so let's run the loop we are here equal to majority element count becomes 1 now we are at 3 so 3 is not equal to majority element and is a count is also not 0 count then we'll do the count as 0 now at 7 it is not equal to majority element and count but count is 0 so majority element becomes 7 and our count becomes 1 now at 3 not equal to majority element and count is also not 0 so this becomes now count becomes 0 now we'll go to 4 not equal to our majority element but count is 0 so majority element becomes 4 and our count becomes 1 so let's check for 4 n by 2 is our 2.5 and the for frequency of 4 is just 1 which is less than 2.5 so we will return minus 1 so here is the mood voting algorithm example now let's see the code so here is our lead code problem so and here is our code so first what we have done is we have calculated our length here in this line now we have checked for boundary condition if size equal to 0 return minus 1 if size equal to 1 if length equal to 1 then return the first element or num 0 and now we will initialize majority element and count as the first element and 0 now we will run our first loop we'll iterate each element if we, it equals the majority element we'll increment the count else if if count equal to 0 we'll set majority element as the number and we'll set count as 1 or else we'll decrement the count so this is our first loop after running this we'll get our majority element candidate now we'll initialize our count as 0 again and we'll verify our candidate by running the loop over all elements of the array if it equals to majority element then we'll increment now we'll check if the count is greater than length by 2 or just it is greater than n by 2 if it is then we will return the majority element else we will return minus one so in your paper in or in your interviews this by two could be by three could be by four it could can change but it should be less than n so we have n by two a length by two here so let's run our code so it is accepted let's submit it Okay, it is accepted let's see our performance so our solution beats runtime of 71% submissions and our solution beats the storage memory distribution of 79.73% submissions so it is a pretty good solution so this is it Thank you guys and may the codes be with you. Hey guys, tell us which problem you want us to do in our next video. 
drop a comment with the problem name.